evening people. Well, actually it's the afternoon. It is Saturday the 20th of January. I am still makeup free, hair tied up because I just got up, did my cardio, had some breakfast and I'm here with the doggies. Bailey, why always when mommy gets the camera out you have to make disgusting noises? Guilty. Now that Bailey has finished being disgusting, I can continue. So we got back on Tuesday, which was the 16th. And Wednesday morning, got up and I started fresh. I weighed in at 124.4 pounds. I was a bit pissed off because prior to leaving, I was about 121 pounds. So I gained over three pounds. Now I was hoping that this was water weight and that through drinking a lot of water, exercising, doing my cardio, hitting my macros that I would drop the weight. Today, I weighed in at 119.4 pounds. That is five pounds. Five pounds of weight loss in four days. I've never had such an incredible weight loss because honestly, I stuck to my macros while I was away. I was training, but not as consistently as possible, but I was getting my cardio in. I really felt like I put in the best effort I could while traveling. So to see the weight go up that much on the scales was a bit disconcerting, but We've gotten back to it. I am now at my lowest weigh-in of this prep. I have 11 weeks to go and just over 11 pounds to go. My goal weight for stage is about 108 pounds. However, I have not stepped on stage in two and a half years. And in those two and a half years, I'm hoping to have made some gains in muscle, but also I want to get in better condition than I have before. So I'm still aiming for around the same goal weight. I just might look a little bit different. So today is Saturday, as I said, and we are lucky to have a muscle food delivery. Having muscle food deliver my food to my door is so handy, so convenient, and brilliant for keeping me on track. So today I'm gonna to take you through just some of my favorite snacks and my favorite items that I've ordered this time. So we have my favorites, the Dr. Zach's cookies. These are my favorites, triple chocolate chip. They don't taste like a cookie, I'm gonna be honest, they don't. Once you get past the fact that they're not a cookie, they still are damn good. They taste more like a brownie, the double chocolate chip. So that's my favorite kind of healthy snack. They have only six grams of fat per cookie. So they are great for hitting my macros with during prep. My favorite carb killer bars. You know carb killer have like so many flavors out right now, but honestly, this one, the cookie dough one, definitely my favorite to date. Any recommendations, this is mine. PhD Diet Whey Bar, probably the best macros on the market. They have only 4.9 grams of fat per bar. I'm sorry, but most protein bars are coming in at eight, nine grams of fat. These are like, just pushing it out of the ballpark there with 4.9 grams of fat and they taste really good. I like the salted caramel one, also the peanut butter one's pretty good. Not too keen on the rest of them, but they are the best flavors. These are Lex's favorite. They are the Muscle Food own brand high protein toffee pretzel bar. They're really good. They're like a protein cereal bar, but they're just really full of flavor and really tasty. A really good snack. Lex pretty much has one of these every morning with his tea. Lex's cookie of choice is the salted caramel one. I do like the salted caramel one. And I think I just don't eat them because they're Lex's favorite. I tend to just go for my favorite, which are the triple chocolate chip, but they are very, very good. For the savory cravings, we have the salt and vinegar muscle food own brand protein crisps. They have amazing macros, perfect for the savory tooth person. I like them like, you know, when you just want something with a can of Pepsi in the afternoon. And then we have these. Now these are like a, a cheese stick, but like a crunchy one. So you know those like cheese, it's crunchy sticks. They're quite similar to them. I wouldn't consider these a protein snack, but they're still like good for it in your macros and they are super cheesy. These are amazing. These are the chocolate protein brownie from Muscle Food. Now they have pretty good macros. They're small, but they're super chocolatey. And I usually just have them with some of the healthy ice cream. So we have at the moment Oppo healthy ice cream. And if you've been living under a rock, what have you been doing with your life? But Halo Top has come to the UK and Ireland. It's available from Tesco and it has really good macros. But to be honest, I'm really into the chocolate hazelnut Oppo, this one. And to be honest, it has better macros than the Halo Top and I have tried them all and this is by far my favorite, but I'm gonna be honest, 
I have yet to taste the peanut butter cup Halo Top. So when I get that, I'll be able to give a more honest review. But I know the macros on the Oppo are better than the Halo Top. Bit more fat, but less carbs. And I'm more concerned about my carbs because I always have fats left over. This may look like Chinese takeaway food, but in fact, it is Muscle Foods little frozen dinners. And these are super handy for Lex, not so much for me, but it's like Lex eats a lot more than me and I can't be cooking all his meals, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to have the time. Lex thinks they're super tasty. I've never actually had one, but we just keep them in the freezer and they're cooked from frozen. So any of the guys out there that just want handiness. The next few items are pretty much meat-based items. So we have the egg whites, I usually get about two liters of this and it does me for about two weeks because I have a lot of scrambled eggs. I cook with the egg whites, so they come in very handy. You can always just buy regular eggs and separate them. If you've been following me for a while, you know that every morning I tend to have some bacon and these unsmoked bacon medallions are super handy. They're low in fat per 100 grams. It's only 1.5 gram of fat and 18 grams of protein. So it's a good protein source as well as being super tasty. These I find come in super handy, especially when we're traveling a lot and going out and about. I usually just pop one of these in my handbag from the fridge. Now it's probably okay for a couple of hours and the spicy ones are super tasty so it's a nice clean source of protein the protein cheese from muscle food just so good you get to have cheese in your diet as you're dieting and per 100 grams will be three grams of fat most cheeses are over 50 grams of fat per 100 but these are three grams of fat 1.9 grams of carbs and 36 grams of protein a great source of protein here in the cheese they also have a smoked flavor they also have blocks of the cheese as well but i find the grated one is for throwing into omelettes and into scrambled eggs and for sandwiches and for everything, it's super handy. I've been cooking a lot with minced chicken breasts. I tend to make burgers and make like little chicken muffins and they're just handy to have and really good to cook with. I feel that chicken absorbs the flavor of spices and herbs better than turkey. I don't really like turkey and the flavor of turkey. So that's just my own personal preference. Muscle Food also have loads of turkey products. They also have a lot of vegan and vegetarian dishes now available from Muscle Food. So it's not just a meat website. So don't feel alienated by the fact that I eat a lot of meat. So we have these chicken sausages. I just checked the macros on these and they're really good because a lot of, wow because a lot of times that you get sneaky carbs in there, but this is just pure chicken and there is some potato starch, pepper. It's just a lot of seasonings really in here. So well done Muscle Food on making them up. And here we have some veggies. I like the salt pepper sweet potato fries and the paprika sweet potato fries. They're my favorite. I tend to oven bake them quite soon after getting them because they seem to just like lose their texture or something if you leave them too long in the fridge. So try to bake them up as quickly as possible and they will take about an hour to bake. They just, I don't know what it is about sweet potato fries. They just do not want to bake. Anyone else have any problems or any solutions to this problem? Then last but not least, I was running low on chicken breasts, so I got two and a half kilos of their premium chicken breasts. These chicken breasts are massive, and when you cook them down, they don't shrink. If you get supermarket chicken breasts, you'll find that they're so saturated with water, they pump a lot of water into them to make them look all like big and succulent, that when you cook them down, they're like half the size, but these ones retain their size and retain their protein content. So definitely worth taking a look on the Muscle Food website, just for even chicken breasts and things like that, if you're not into getting all the supplements and protein snacks they have something for everyone guys so don't be turned off by the name it's not all meat there is everything on there I'm after getting ridiculously excited because my cheese expires on the day of my competition that has to be some kind of a sign like a good sign or an omen I don't know I never updated you on what competition I'm doing, what date it is, anything like that. So from tomorrow, I am 11 weeks out and my competition is on the 8th of April. It's in Litchfield, so that's kind of north of Birmingham and it's a PCA competition. I think the category I'm going to compete in is the trained bikini. So it's in between bikini and figure, which I feel like my physique is. I don't think I'm quite figure because I don't get that lean and I don't have that much muscle mass, but at the 
same time my legs are quite dense and I do have quite a significant amount of muscle in comparison to the bikini competitors so I think a trained bikini category will really suit my physique and hopefully I'll do quite well but if anyone wants to come down and support me you are more than welcome I'm hoping to have some of the other Gymshark athletes there on the day obviously Lex will be there to support me and anyone else who likes me really so um as you can see i've got big black rings around my eyes because i am quite jet lagged still i'm sleeping a lot this week i think i'm catching up on about two weeks worth of sleep right now so i'm gonna go shower put on a little bit of makeup to make myself feel a little bit more feminine and then i'm gonna hit up the gym i've had my shower had to defrost the car because it's so frozen and i've just got to the gym before closing time so i'm gonna have to do a really fast back and shoulder workout Lex is over there somewhere with some nipples hanging out and he's determined to ruin my vlog as always and I'm gonna just hit up my back now I hate him workout as you can see I did a back and shoulder workout just finished with a little bit of abs my abs are still very tender from when I trained them on Wednesday so I didn't want to push them too much because they're still feeling a little bit sore so I hope you enjoyed the workout I'm gonna go home now feed the dogs and just have chilled out Saturday afternoon I'm in from the gym and I'm trying to get warmed up because it's absolutely freezing outside so i'm having myself a cup of coffee because it's only 5 p.m i try not to drink after six and 
the weirdest concoction i have these like little chicken muffin things which i pretty much make like i make my chicken burgers and just make them miniature and then i put some protein cheese on top put it in the microwave microwaved it up and i'm gonna have that probably with some of the blend bros barbecue sauce because it's virtually macro free because i want to get warm and i'm cold Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them out to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.